So today we have with us uh, Golo Pils, who is the advisor for the Brahma Kumaris for a very special project on renewable energies. And uh, we would like to ask uh, Golo a few questions on this uh, research project that he's heading for the Brahma Kumaris. Golo, uh, tell us a little bit more about the solar uh, plant um, project that you're heading at the Brahma Kumaris. Well, we started around 20 years ago at the Brahma Kumaris with uh, installation and research in renewable energies. And uh, first we started with small solar cookers and photovoltaic systems. And uh, we worked with a German engineer, Wolfgang Scheffler, and developed a Scheffler community kitchens in uh, India and uh, set up and developed with him together the dish also. And uh, finally, we had the idea five years ago uh, to look into power generation by solar concentrating uh, systems, which means we are using big mirrors, we concentrate the sunlight, and we focus on the receiver and we generate steam, and the steam drives a turbine. So about uh, four years ago, we started with an innovative uh, research project. It's mm -hmm. called India One. India One. There, there's also a web page, uh, IndiaOne.net, where mm -hmm. you can sort of uh, get more information upon the project. And uh, the speciality of this project is that it is uh, jointly funded by the Indian and the German government. And uh, secondly, this project has innovative thermal storage. It means we can store the energy overnight and uh, we can deliver power on demand, which is a huge advantage and a step forward and which is one of the necessity to introduce renewable energies on a large scale. So when you say deliver power on demand, it means that at any moment you just don't need for the sun to come out for you to actually exactly. receive that yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, solar energy. Yeah. In, front of the, in front of a 60 square meter parabolic dish, mm -hmm. uh, we have installed a receiver which is made out of three tons of cast iron. So we heat up that cast iron to around 480, 500 centigrades. And around the cast iron body, we wrapped a coil. So once we pump water through the coil, we can extract the stored thermal energy from this cast iron receiver. Okay. So whenever we need, we can sort of extract the heat. And as the receiver is well insulated with uh, rock wool, uh, we can store the energy, the heat, overnight. Well, that's quite interesting. And um, how many people would be able to use this energy? Um, I believe that uh, at the Brahma Kumaris headquarters, currently they are using this renewable energy system. Well, we have at the Brahma Kumaris, we have a variety of solar systems which are running at the moment. These are our solar steam cooking system, mm -hmm. which is based on smaller uh, Scheffler dishes. We have a lot of photovoltaic systems. Uh, actually, Brahma Kumaris is one of the biggest users of renewable energies in India. And on the other side, um, the sister organization of the Brahma Kumaris, the World Renewal Spiritual Trust, under whom we execute the India One project, is a recognized solar research center. And we also carry out trainings under UNDP and uh, GEF uh, funding and uh, train people uh, in the use, in the installation of concentrating solar systems. So we have a lot of use already of these kind of systems mm -hmm. and we're doing R&D to uh, introduce such systems on a large scale in India and make it available for the country. So uh, you would say that uh, this research project was an experiment that has worked successfully? Well, see, the India One project is still under uh, installation. Mm -hmm. uh, as we work with the government funding, um, uh, we have to go along with the uh, permissions, uh, with the procurement, and step by step we're getting the material on site and we're installing it. And we hope by March 2016 the plant will become operational. Oh, that's great. That's and great. then, of course, we will come to know how good the plant operates, uh, what is the cost uh, of the electricity and how well our uh, storage medium behaves and how well it works. After all, the project is a research project. Yes. Once yeah. we prove the concept, then we can look into replication, and that is the whole idea of the project, to make such technology available for India and also for the whole world. That would be a great um, way to move forward, especially in terms of, of uh, not having to use um, the normal traditional energies that we use today. Well, we all know <clears throat> that climate change is um, accelerating. Mm. Um, Brahma Kumar is also um, uh, runs a environmental initiative and we're participating regular at the climate conferences in uh, around the world and we're all preparing now for Paris and um, uh, 
uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very important that the uh, clean technology, reliable storage medium uh, will be made available for the future because uh, uh, the signs and the signals we're getting from planet Earth are not very encouraging. We have the global yes, warming, uh, yeah. we have strange weathers in India and everywhere around the globe. The earthquakes that we're hearing about. Well, that's another issue, the earthquake. Um, that's not the global warming. Uh, however, um, it, is, uh, it is extremely important that such kind of technologies is developed and is made available for everybody. And yes. here we try from our side, from the side of the Brahma Kumaris, to make such a technology available. And we believe, uh, as we are spiritual people, that the combination of a, a holistic approach, a spiritual approach, and the combination with technology, this will make the difference. Because, because then we bring ethics and values back into technology, and then it will be beneficial for humanity. That is great. Thank you, Golo. I have one last question for you. Um, so if this uh, research project is semi-operational at the, at the Brahma Kumaris, are you actually able to uh, use this on the people that are currently living um, in, in India at, at, the, at the center there? So the idea is first to develop the technology, make the proof of concept, mm -hmm. and uh, we would like then to share the technology in collaboration with our funding partners. We will share this technology with, the, uh, with uh, interested parties in India. Um, and we want to see that this technology is being replicated and available on a broad scale. And of course, at the moment, uh, the local people, they benefit yeah. because we employ about 250 workers there on site. Okay. We do um, qualification of workers. We train them in good welding techniques because all the fabrication is done by us on site. And um, so we have this qualification, we have this... Uh, we have this transfer of capacity, this building of local capacity, and uh, through our training workshops on concentrating solar power, we also try to spread the knowledge amongst university, amongst students, amongst all the other stakeholders in the country. To make them aware of... of um, Possibilities, uh, what can be made, what are the costs, what are the difficulties. So we try to enable people to replicate and go into the renewable energy field. That's wonderful. It's really great news. I think um, we will be waiting for March 2016. We also wait and we yes. hope we have the best wishes. Everything will work out successfully. Yeah, that's great. So Golo, can you tell us a little bit the technical aspect of this? How many people will actually be able to use this on a day-to-day -day level? Well, see, the plant has a size, a capacity of one megawatt. Um, the solar generator has a size of 3.5 megawatt thermal. Mm. But as we have storage, um, we have a constant output of one megawatt electric for 24 hours, as well as we produce steam, and we are planning to send the steam also towards the Brahma Kumari's main kitchen, mm -hmm. so we can cook for 25, 30,000 people with this generated steam, and we can supply one megawatt of electricity um, for 24 hours, which is approximately equal for a small township or a small village, or a small city, you can say, or a big, huge industrial complex to supply electricity around the clock. And therefore, we install 770 dishes, and each dish has 60 square meter, and we use a land approximately of 100,000 square meters for it, mm -hmm. and the dishes are spaced every 12 meters. Away and each dish, to, to each dish, to give you an idea, has a height of 16 meters, mm -hmm. and we need three tons of steel for fabrication, and there's 600 single spare parts in each dish. So you can imagine it's a quite complex task, Sounds because very complex. everything is designed, tested, simulated on site, and then comes into fabrication process. So we have from the beginning, from the idea to the fabrication to the installation, everything in house. It's quite amazing to be able to. Um uh, feed people, uh, 25,000 or 30,000 people on a daily basis, I think that's quite fascinating. And if you're able to replicate that on a, you know, bigger number for yeah, well, this the is the this is the This is the, the thermal aspect and solar cookers we have already since running, operating since the last 20 years. But the additional uh, task is now to take that thermal energy, which you can use for cooking already, mm. and use the steam to drive a turbine and generate electricity. This is like the next step, you know, and then see that the storage works so good, so well, that you always can produce also in the depth of the night when you have no sun, enough steam to drive the turbine constantly, constantly for many, many, many hours. This is like the tricky part and this is the research part. And this is what is needed uh, to sort of 
make uh, renewable energy interesting for everybody that you have the storage and you can run 24 hours and you can use it for base load. This was one of the big problems with renewables so far. Mm -hmm. They were available when the sun was shining or wind power is available when the wind blows. But what, often... What about the times when you don't have these... Um, yes, uh, then you need storage. So this is why this is an R&D project and if we pull that off, this will be a milestone in India. That's great. Thank you so much, Golo, for your time.